everyone, I'm Suzanne Lively. Welcome to A Lively Perspective and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. I'm really excited about today's video because I've created something special for our family and your family too. And it is, dum dum dum, drum roll please. <laughs> now I have created a family Christmas log. And in this family Christmas log, we can record all the books that we read for Christmas, all the Christmas movies that we watch, as well as all the different types of cookies that we bake. Now, what I really love about this idea is it, we always keep a photo album for sure. We want to record the special moments, of course. This year, it struck me that I also would really love to record all the books that we're reading this year. Now, we always have a book log, and for us, what we've been recording over the last six months since school started has been all the middle grades that we read together as a family. So, so all our middle grade read-alouds. But as I've been creating videos and watching other people's videos for Vlogmas this year, one of the things that I decided to do for my first week of Vlogmas is to create a series of Christmas studies. So many of you know I am a homeschooler. I thought it would be... A, fun and amazing to make videos of the different Christmas studies that we're going to use this year. I've even thrown in other pieces of curriculum that we may not be using ourselves this year for Christmas, but I've heard about through the grapevine via Instagram or YouTube, and they're all created by other homeschool moms. So it feels really good to support other homeschool moms, and it's really easy to do when they create such amazing products. And because I've been doing that this week and I've been thinking about our traditions, I have a video coming up about our family traditions as well as some new ones that we started. For example, we did book advent this year for the first time. And there's just a huge amount of books going through the house this season, more than even normal. And usually we're a, a book filled family. We're always reading a ton of books and we're always getting many from the library, but because of these Christmas studies and the videos I've been creating, there's even more this year. And I was already starting to lose track of what we read, what we didn't read, and it suddenly struck me, why not create a Christmas log? And it excited me to no end. So I did, and then because I've been really trying to offer as much to other homeschoolers as I can this week as well, creating as many resources to make it easy for all of you to add in these amazing Christmas studies into your home without it being a big deal. And this is another one that I've created with the same intention. And that is not only will we enjoy it in our family, but I hope you do as well. And listen, it's only a 10 page PDF and you can print as many pages as you think you'll use in your family. So before I show you this, I just want to preface it by saying I am limited in terms of graphics, like in terms of what I can create graphically. I did the best I could and I, for my capability, think it's amazing. Thank goodness for Canva. And I absolutely think the illustrations are so cute. So we love foxes in this family. I just think they're adorable and my daughter loves them. So anyway, I did up, this is the first page and I did laminate the cover, which you obviously don't have to do, but and bound it. I have a pro click binding system, which I absolutely have fallen in love with. So without further ado, I'll show you what's included. Now I printed this off two-sided and the first one as you can see is for a list of picture books and I'm going to give you the link down below you can download this and print it as you will and then you turn it over and I've added in some extra pages for picture books because we've been going through them like crazy this season so I just throw in a couple extra there again you can print off as many or as little as makes sense for your family you turn it over, then I have a page for chapter books, and then I have a page for middle grade books, and there's no way we're going through more than a page of those this season. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I have a page for adult books, or if you're reading any Christmas adult books with your family, there's a page for that. And then we have a page for Christmas movies. We watch a lot of those as well. And now we have some family traditions. Like we have some movies that we watch every year now. And we started another tradition this year. My daughter's a bit older, so what she can watch has shifted a little bit. <laughs> oh, speaking of my daughter, I just want to say, she made me this gorgeous bracelet. And I just want to show that off. Aren't I lucky? <laughs> Okay, 
when you turn over Christmas movies, oh my gosh, this, I just think this is so cute. Is it okay to gush about your own material? Anyway, I think it's adorable. This is for Christmas cookies. <laughs> now, I have to say, normally there's no way I would even need this type of document because we have some standard cookies that we make every year. For example, Chef Chloe, she uh, is a vegan chef and we make one of her cookie recipes every year. I, they're called the Chewy Ginger Molasses Cookies. I will never use another gingerbread recipe ever. They're so good, crunchy on the outside and you know, soft and gooey in the middle. The reason that I need this document this year is because we did purchase, uh, Jessica's from the Waldock Way has a Christmas cookies a uh, tasty treat curriculum this year and it was based on the Christmas cookies around the world book I don't know if I have those exact names right but um, definitely I'll link some of them down below but if you see my videos this week you know they're they're there <laughs> the titles are the correct titles for everything are there my daughter also received a cookbook for book advent this year she received an American Girl Christmas cookbook this year so we actually sat down and we're a little bit behind on that front, but we finally have our grocery list. We're going to get our supplies. So we'll be filling this in for sure. Now I just threw in, for me, I just threw in extras. Like I did some that were, I had to keep finessing for you guys and for the final product. So I didn't want to waste those. I just put them in the back of this. Again, this is a 10 page document and I really hope it brings you and your family some joy. And this can be a keepsake. And I put the year there because this is something I'd like to do every year with our family. And if you do photo albums, you could even just stick these in the pages. I'm sure I can figure, we can all figure out how to keep this every year. I hope it's a great keepsake for you and your loved ones this Christmas. And if you like this, definitely hit subscribe and let me know down below. And I will see you tomorrow with Vlogmas video number seven. <laughs>